Hey guys, before you get into this video, do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We're at the Withlacoochee State Trail, which is a long bike trail. Wilson County. I've never actually ridden the whole thing, but it's quite long. And right off of here too is part of the Florida Trail. You can catch and uh, some good hiking back in there. Near Croom is where we are, near Brooksville. Ridge Manor, actually, trailhead. So let's get to it. Before we get going here, I want to just show you. When I'm, I'm taking this, I don't need to. This is just a day hike. I have a smaller bag somewhere, but I'm just gonna try to get used to wearing this again. I'm gonna start preparing for my next year's hike I hope to do. But I want to share this bag with you. It's a really great bag. It's from Sierra Designs. It's called a Flex Capacitor. And if you remember Back to the Future, he had the Flux Capacitor in the car, and that's kind of the same shape of that. The light would go up and down. That was part of the thing that made him time travel. But also, that shapes, makes the shape of the frame, which is great, very lightweight. But it also is basically a stuff sack, right? Uh, it's got this really nice lid on it. It's super easy to get in and out of stuff right here. Got a nice little pocket on the top as well for, for your regular use stuff. I like it because it's just got these compression straps. A couple of them have clips, but really it's just compression straps here and here. And this thing does what it says. It's a, it flexes and you can go from 60 to 75 liters worth of gear. They have smaller versions with, with the smaller numbers on that. Each one of these is kind of custom uh, ordered, meaning you have to get the right belt uh, size. You know, they're both, they, they, they custom order to your size that you want. Same with the length of the back and everything. Just like a lot of bags. The thing that's different about it is it's got this lumbar system. This is kind of a, there's some foam on there, but there's like a hard piece of plastic as well. This is pretty solid and firm. And then it comes off there a bit. It sits right on the lower part of your lower back. And uh, takes some getting used to, and that's why I think you gotta get the right size the exact right size for your frame i think i i just did it on the internet i didn't follow his instructions properly i just ordered what i thought i needed it doesn't quite fit the belt's a little too big it's a little too tall so so it doesn't quite it takes a little getting used to and if i could send it back and have them retool it i will i don't know if they'll do that this one's a little more money than what i had before which was a an osprey i don't remember how much it was but Check them out, Sierra Designs. I like the fact too, they put two water bottle pockets, one, two on the front. I just clip my phone thing here and put my phone when I'm walking. Um, just a great bag. I just really love this bag. Simple, it doesn't have any of that stuff on the back of it with netting and garbage, it's just there. You got a couple side pockets here for you know water bottles or whatever as well. Some really nice, uh, pouches here, one on each side, and um, they're, it's really well constructed. Great, the zippers—it's not going to break. It doesn't—it doesn't stick. It doesn't grab. These, this thing's going to last a long time. So that's what I'm using there, and then I just use these. Uh, these lucky, lucky Likai. I don't know how you pronounce those. I've just used these for the last couple of years. They're pretty good. The only thing I don't—I don't love is these straps. There's no. Um, they're pretty basic. I'm used to them, but I know they make some better straps that go around and put your support your weight on there. So we're just carrying pretty much an empty bag and some water and my and my gimbal. Just gonna do a quick day hike and show you some new sections of Florida. Here we go. So it's just got done raining. We have some cloudy days here. Look at that good old little tree right there. We're on the Withlacoochee River, which runs along there on the border. If I had a full day, I could do this at seven miles, the orange. And then if you came back seven, or you can do a straight shot down the bike trail right in front of us. But 
it looks like there's a blue trail right there that we can do a loop on so we're gonna hope that's right we'll do that this morning it's uh it's like 10 or 11 in the morning so i don't i'm not trying to do a lot of miles today we're just trying to get out here welcome to florida Basically, this is coming in from Highway 50. Now that I know the area better. And this is actually, I believe, the Florida Trail here. So our hike is gonna be along the river, which is part of the Western Corridor of the FT. And I never hiked this part as part of my through hike last year. This is on a different part of the state. You have a couple options if you look at the map. Um, but I have hiked this on its own years ago when I was first understanding that Florida had some some spots like this. It's actually pretty nice.
nice in here. Definitely humid and hot already. Makes me remember why I don't hike in Florida in summer anymore. I did. Not anymore. It sucks. In the summer, you will, you will find gators sunning on, on log, just sitting in there. And there's some big fish in there too, catfish mostly. Big old cypress here, you don't see these often anymore. See the old it's a good hundred years or more. Really nice quality wood, and of course they've been all destroyed except for in little spots like this. Thank you, humanity. Look at these things, man. These are, these are, this tells you how old this is. Or these cones are coming up this high. That's as tall as me almost. Let me take a look here. I've never seen anything like this. I've seen a lot of cypress root, but this is old. <laughs> cool. You can see this is definitely a cypress uh, dome here in this in the winter or rainy season. This is full, I guarantee it. Probably a good spot to find the gator in the summertime. <laughs> Cypress. All these are cypress toes or different names for them, but this is underwater sometimes, part of the year. And that's a one big root system. Kills your feet, trips you up when you're not looking. We've got uh, that cool brown color down here, which is called tannin. And that's the leaf and debris and the wood. It causes kind of like a, like a tea effect if you steeped brown tea. And unless there's pollution being dumped in this river, which there probably is somewhere around here uh, from the city, that water's fairly clean um, if you filter it with your water filter. Um, Problem with the Florida rivers is uh, too much city around everything. Right over there is a neighborhood and they dump the sewage from the treatment plants into the rivers and I'm not kidding. We couldn't really use the water in Florida mostly until you get way past uh, Ocala, north of Ocala, up towards the Suwannee area. Really disappointing, it's hard to keep the water system's good, flowing, available, clean in a state like this that is so overrun with population. It looks like that is not the case in this video, but 
most of Florida is turning into a concrete parking lot or a condo. <laughs>
through heck. not like you're hacking through stuff. I really like it. Um, this is right near the Kroom bike area. It's right near Green Swamp. This is actually Ridge Manor Trail. I think it's what it's called. Right on that uh, that uh, Cross County bike trail. Right it's uh, beginning. So uh, a lot of activity here, but it's still um, remote enough that you feel like when you're here. Because they've left it old for us. This is rare. And you see some old little trees behind me. You'll see when we get back up the front end again, there's a lot of pines that uh, have been planted. One of my huge pet peeves is the way they call things the state forest down here in the south, and it's just a crop of trees that people don't realize they're constantly harvesting. 
the real forest has been gone for 150 years, but this is actually probably never been cleared in here. And that's why we've got such big oak trees over here. Where are we at? Right there. we got quite a few uh, big old trees in here. Show you how what I'm talking about. See this? Uh, these were planted by a tractor, probably. It's just a row of corn. I think this is longleaf pine, and this is they use this a lot for paper and such. But a lot of the state and national forests in the south are actually just this stuff, which I don't consider this a forest. You know, this is a crop of trees. What forest is over there, where there is undergrowth animals a variety of trees and plants that is a thriving ecosystem now i i guess it's okay it's better than having bare land but it's really irritating to me when i went out well, first time i wanted to go hike or boondock and camp in the national forest osceola i realized the whole thing is like this and i was like wait a minute where's the dang forest and it was just a crop of trees with uh, palmettos between them that you couldn't use any, you couldn't really use it, utilize any of the forest really. And then I realized it's just uh, the government making money off the paper and the lumber. Oh, we got some rain coming. I got almost back. Let's get going. that live everywhere else and it's freezing cold right now i checked the temperatures in idaho in the mountains where i want to go it's three with the wind chill feeling like minus 10 up in the sawtooths and here it is 85 degrees 100 percent humidity and raining thunderstorms this feels pretty much like summer a little bit less hot but... so let's do a little recap okay we're back in the trailer all right and uh, I, had a, I had a great hike there. That was a kind of walk down memory lane. I, I hiked that trail maybe six, seven years ago when I first started hiking in Florida. I hiked when I was a kid, many years passed. And then about six years ago, I suddenly remembered hiking and wondered if there was any hiking trails in Florida. Well, there's a lot. So 
that was one of the ones I did. And what's funny as I was walking that trail, I remember the feelings I used to have when I was hiking um, before I did my through hike. Before you camp in the woods and find a place to just kind of lay down and sleep wherever and whatever. Every little sound worried me. I wondered if I'd have enough water. I wondered if I'd make it to the end. And, uh, you know, then after you do 20, 25 miles a day, you, you're sleeping under bridges and you're sleeping wherever. You start, you know, that goes away. So when I went back through this time, it was it was funny how I realized that's just a little neighborhood trailer tra uh, trail. And, um, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot more, actually. So uh, I'm going to start doing more hikes like that. We're close to me here. I'm pretty much locked down in Florida this year. I can't get really out anywhere else. So I'm going to just try to document as many trails as I can in Florida. We have a lot uh, throughout the state. We have some national forests. We have some state forests. As I said in that video, um, in the video, some of the for quote unquote, you know, federal forests are not great. But Ocala National Forest is pretty nice. So I might, I might drive over there to Orlando and do some hiking. But I have a lot of trails around me here. So I'm going to just try to get out every weekend. And my goal is with the channel now to try to put one video up a week. I know I haven't been doing that at all. It's been more of a hobby than a focus. So I'm going to try to focus more and um, just try to show you guys Florida to start with. And we'll branch out from there, right? Uh, there's a lot to see. A lot of free camping, a lot of boondocking, a lot of... Um, day hikes, and also some good long through hikes and section hikes. I mean, the Florida Trail is a national scenic trail. It runs all over the place, and it runs right by my house here, big sections of it. And uh, we've been on and off it every time I do a video recently. So uh, if you're interested in the Florida Trail, I've done it, uh, most of it, say 90% of it, and um, kind of got it down. I kind of know, feel like I'm comfortable with it. Uh, my goal is in 2023 to do the CDT, Continental uh, Divide Trail. We'll see out west. But uh, until then, we'll do some weekend hikes, and every week I'll try to get a video for you guys. So, All right, so have a good night from the trailer. This is my home. I live in an RV. I boondock. I live mobile. I stay on the road nomadic as much as I can. I do insurance claims to make some cash. And occasionally I work and volunteer for state parks and other places to try to just get to interesting places around the country and I figure I might as well get to the woods, be in nature, explore, and do as much as I can until my body runs out, right? And I hope that's many, many years from now. So uh, I hope you guys feel the same. We'll see you soon. Nomadic Recovery. Good night.